Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's explore the concept of the odds against. So to do that, let's look at some numbers, and these are hypothetical numbers. I didn't research these, but they're probably fairly representative. Let's assume that in the country there are 200,000 high school seniors that are playing basketball. Well, of those high school seniors, 5,000 make it to a college team. And of those 5,000, about 3,000 will play as a college senior. And those are probably pretty representative numbers. Now, how many of those actually make it to a professional basketball team? And let's say 80 of them finally make it. All right, so what do we then do when we are asked, as a high school senior, what are the odds against, and I'm talking about, of course, those that play basketball. There's way more than 200,000 high school seniors. But of those high school seniors that play basketball, what are the odds against making it to a pro team, a professional team? Well, what we do to figure that out is we then do a comparison or a ratio of the number of high school seniors to the number of spots. So in this case, that would be 200,000 to 80. And if we divide both sides by 80, then we can say this would be 2,500 to 1. That would be the way in which you represent the odds against. The odds against are 2,500 to 1 that a high school senior playing basketball will actually make it to a professional team. How about as a college senior? Then, of course, we would go 3,000 to 1. And, of course, oh, not, not 3,000 to 1, but 3,000 to 80. And, of course, if we then divide both sides by 80, and let's see, what's 3,000 divided by 80, divided by 80? Hopefully that's a round number, 37.5 to 1. So that would be equal to 37.5 to 1. That is the odds against a senior in college playing basketball making it to a professional team. Hmm. So that is how we represent that particular way in talking when we talk about the odds against. What are the odds against? Well, we take the ratio of one number to another number and then reduce it to something to one. And so in this case, it would be 2,500 to one or 37.5 to one. And that is how it's done.